here with Jim Harris, Pier Historian. Actually, you wrote the book on the Santa Monica Pier. I did. The book is called uh, Santa Monica Pier, A Century on the Last Great Pleasure Pier, and it was to celebrate the pier's first hundred years. It's a pier that uh, it, it pays homage to all of that wonderful past of Santa Monica and, uh, and reminds people what it once was like mm -hmm. and how it's still fun today. So when was the pier built? The pier was built uh, beginning in 1907. It opened in 1909. At one time, actually back in the, the 1920s, there were, there were six pleasure piers here in the Santa Monica Bay. And many piers had amusement parks. Um, some had bowling alleys. This one had a bowling alley. And, um, and some had dance halls. Um, it was really a place where, the, where they just extended the city on top of the sea. I know that there's a lot of Hollywood history sure. on the pier. Can you tell me a little bit about it? The pier has been uh, immortalized in films such as The Sting. Merry-go-round in that area um, sat, in, sat in as Chicago. Oh, really? <laughs> Natalie Wood, um, Inside Daisy Clover. Dennis Hopper's first starring role was in a movie called Night Tide. It was shot here. I give up. What do you do? I'm a mermaid. You're a what? A mermaid. Half woman, half fish. This is a very famous tourist attraction, the sure. Santa Monica Pier, but why do the locals come and why is it important to the locals? It means so many different things to so many different people. Certainly it means one thing to the fishermen who come here every day, but it means something completely different to that child who's coming for the first time and seeing the lights and the rides and everything. I've always loved it because it's a place where you can go and feel like you're not in the middle of the city, like you're on vacation. Exactly. Even in adulthood I've come and taken a ride around the Ferris wheel. It's, it's a really magical experience. Why, what do you love about the pier? Oh, wow, everything. From the moment I, that I set foot on the pier in 1989, I felt at home. And, uh, and that feeling hasn't left me. I think that's the beauty of the pier, is that it appeals to so many people in so many different ways. 